Hey guys, just another video of a quick bike that I'm taking back tonight. It's a 1972 CT70. Uh, this is the second bike from the same customer who has a third one I will be bringing back. He had uh, some sons um, that he bought one of these for each. And uh, again, first two are done. Third one's coming back tonight. So um, they just basically were sitting around, not being used, needed to be gone over. Uh, you know, tires, check the brakes, new cables and whatnot. Um, fix some lighting issues, a um, couple cables here and there. Um, but runs good. Had to refinish a couple pieces. Uh, he wasn't up for a complete teardown restoration. Um, but I had to refinish this rear swing arm. It was really bad, uh, rusted. Um, so I had to refinish it in the uh, candy red. And I also had to get new shocks, which again, that's the original color. So the, I guess kind of the back half is, <laughs> is more original than, uh, than the actual original part in terms of the color. And you can see it's a little faded and almost orange with a slight pink hue to it. Um, but either way, it's a fully functioning bike, uh, new exhaust system, the exhaust was gone on the, well, the original exhaust system was trash, I should say, um, had to blast and repaint the wheels, uh, just polish out everything, remove as much corrosion as I could from all the hardware and whatnot, um, new seat cover, um, refinished the engine side covers. Uh, there's another piece I painted was the uh, the chain card. Um, again, there wasn't a whole lot that I had to do. It was just a lot of a little, I guess you'd say. Um, of course, the carb needed to be clean and all that good stuff. But I elected to keep this decal, or I should say sticker. I think this is the... Oh, is this the registration? Or is this, yeah, it has to be the registration sticker. So it's been on there obviously since 75. So I did not want to remove that. I like to leave stuff like that go. So that's kind of a neat little piece to see some of the history. Um, this one was used more than the other one that I did. I mean, 5,700 miles, it's pretty, pretty significant for a bike that goes, what, 30 miles an hour if you're lucky. So imagine all those miles that slow. So again, it got its use. And this one was a lot rougher than the other one. If you look on the website, there's an orange one, which uh, is the same uh, gentleman. Um, but I'll see if I can get it fired. I haven't started it in, it's been weeks. So we'll see how it does. Make sure I got the fuel in the right spot. Okay, it's on reserve, it should be. I don't have it that full. Choke. Now this one barely likes to have the choke on, if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. One kick. Now the choke off. Sorry for the bouncing. But there you go. Like I said, it likes to fire up right away. I had to replace a couple gaskets. The cam cover the gasket was leaking down on the bottom here and replace that. Um, also one of the big things that happened right as I was ready to call this project finish, finished, the steering stop broke off. So I had to basically make one, got a piece of steel and uh, ground it into shape as best I could, welded it on there and touched it up. And uh, it works. Sorry guys, the bike stalled. Literally ran it out of gas. ready to have another um, I can't imagine we get another 5,000 miles but 
get some more use at the hands of his uh, what would be his grandkids now. So again, these bikes that have been in the family forever are pretty cool. And uh, I guess stay tuned because there's going to be the third one from him coming back. And I'm sure I'll document some of that on the website and uh, a post repair video as well. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.